using mask in Photoshop. So one of the first ones um, I'm going to do is kind of explain what a mask is. So we're going to start with a layer mask and you can try this out by just importing a picture in. Um, I've got a picture here I took of some horses. And the best way to think about a mask is um, non-destructive um, erasing of something. Um, and, and what I mean by that is, let's say I wanted to um, isolate these horses. You could go to um, select subject um, and it kind of isolates them here. You know, we could adjust, um, adjust this a little bit, but we're, we're trying to cut these out. And so if you copied and pasted it, um, you would be left with this and it's really rough. We would have to refine that, but I'm just showing you more of the principles of it. Um, so if I delete that um, original photo here, uh, there's not much I can do with this, okay? Because we've isolated these from everything. But if we delete this and go back and... Um, down in the bottom right of your screen, um, besides the little effects thing, there is a square, it's a white square with a black circle. If you will click on that, it opens up a layer mask. And so by using our paintbrush, what we can do is actually kind of erase around something but it's not destructive, meaning we can always get it back. And here, I'm going to show you this, okay? So if I am on my layer mask, and I have a brush, and I, let's see. Let's touch this up a little bit. Let's go with a hard brush, um, kind of small there, okay? And the black color erases, white color puts it back is the easiest way. And so since I have a green background, you can see as I come around here, that green of the background starts to show through. So it's kind of like erasing something, you know, right here. But let's say I get really into my project and I want to bring something back. All I have to do is select the white color paintbrush tool, make sure I'm on my layer mask over there beside my layer, and then see, everything comes right back. So this is why I use layer mask a lot in my work is because if I decide later on, um, I wanna bring something back, instead of cutting it out and doing all that kind of stuff, by using a layer mask, it is much, much easier because it's non-destructive. I don't have to worry about hitting the undo a bunch of times. I don't worry about having to bring a picture back in and maybe cut something out. I can just, like I said, I can erase it, you know, with a black paintbrush or I can put it back with a white paintbrush. So layer mask opens up a whole lot of opportunities for different things. Now, the second mask that I use a whole lot is called a clipping mask. And so let's hide this image real quick. I'm um, still using a green background so it can show up. But a clipping mask just fits um, a picture or an image or whatever it is to the layer below it. So if I make a square here like this with some rounded corners and I want to fit the picture of the horse inside of that square, I don't have to resize it or... Um, cut it out or anything like that. I can just right click on the layer and select, scroll down until you see create clipping mask. Click that and now it fits to that square. And so no matter where I move this picture around, it fits to the shape beneath it. Um, if I resize it, it fits to that, like I said. Um, and if you wanna change it up some, you know, you can move this square around if you resize this square, more of it comes in, smaller, bigger, whatever. This is really useful when you're trying to fit images into a shape. Um, because again, it's non-destructive. If I decide I don't want this and I delete that square, my image comes right back. There's nothing different. I haven't um, cut anything off. I don't have to worry about putting anything back because my image is still there. 
Uh, you can also use masks. Clipping masks are big in Illustrator as well. Um, I don't do as much of that work. Most of my stuff is done primarily in Photoshop. But that is a really quick tutorial on how to use layer mask and clipping mask in Photoshop.